Olivia Munn confirms that Whitney has abandoned her comedy friends. Yeah, this is interesting. So this is a a screenshot from Olivia Munn's Twitter. Oh, Olivia Munn, Olivia Munn, linked to her Twitter account, where she tweeted out essentially what we've all been kind of thinking regarding the whole Brian Kellen rape allegations that he's effectively done in Hollywood. And it's a shame really, because if of, of out of him and Brendan, you definitely knew Brian was the one that had to take a bit of convincing into sort of understanding the power of podcasting and the fact that it could help his stand up career. He always kind of seemed like he was chasing that Hollywood dream, which, you know, you're allowed to chase your dreams. You're allowed to try and make something of yourself in that arena, even if it's probably something that you're probably not destined to do. And he's obviously got the benefit of being a world-class, you know, stand up comedian in his own right. But it took a bit of convincing right but even though he still kind of held that hope he had a few cameos in movies obviously with the Goldbergs and obviously his spin-off show then he was he had a brief stint in the Joker so it was looking like the podcast and the notoriety of that was sort of helping his chances to kind of segue a career into Hollywood which he probably would like to do even though he's advancing in years but I always got the impression that whenever these kind of allegations come up and a lot of the prominent women in Hollywood who have got some real experience with me too especially olivia munn right she's got that horrible story i mentioned previously where she was essentially required to work alongside a convicted child rapist that she had no idea right or somebody that was basically uh yeah somebody that was on a sex offenders which or something like that um she didn't know she kind of raised it with a the studio they kind of told her to sit down and stop making a big deal out of it and then her co-stars in the movie essentially ostracized her because they felt as if she was taking away attention from the movie they were starring in, right? So she's seen the bad side of that of that industry. She's seen the bad side of what can happen to your career when you kind of speak up to, for or against. So for sure, she's a bit sensitive to it. But whenever you see someone like that coming out and writing a tweet like this about Brian Keller or about anybody that's being accused, it kind of gives you the impression it's done for them in Hollywood. It's kind of over. And it's also an indication that maybe Whitney Cummings has essentially chosen her position. She's chosen what bed she's deciding to lay in. So this is a tweet here from Olivia Mum. It says... It's a screenshot of the Los Angeles Times article that features Brian Callan that basically raised the allegations. It says here, that's a quote from him from the LA Times, says, I have never raped, forced myself upon any woman, nor offered to trade stage down for sex ever. Callan said in a statement, I will not allow the cancer culture to subvert what I know, and as importantly, what they know is the truth. And Olivia Munn quoted it on 11th, said, this isn't cancer culture, quote unquote, Brian Callan. It's just called rape and sexual assault allegation that's been heavily vetted and verified by the LA Times. I believe Catherine Fiora Tigerman, Claire Gansere, Tiffany King, and Rachel Green. And of course, if you remember, prior to this tweet Olivia Mum was on Whitney Cummings podcast and she essentially said the same thing that she believes that if a story comes out in the newspaper regarding a prominent male in Hollywood concerning a rape allegation that most likely or not the story is going to be true no she definitely said it's definitely true because they're going to verify and vet the story which is ludicrous right to suggest that the New York Times or the LA Times have any kind of journalistic integrity and they're going to dot their I's and cross their T's and go through exhaustive process or figure out the truth is null and void you have to anyone that believes that is just a madness i think she's just saying that to because it fits her narrative but the in, more interesting fight about it i think is that it's an indication that for sure whitney cummings is no longer one of the boys and if you've seen any of her posts on instagram and if you've seen what she's been posting on her stories and stuff it kind of feels as like she's definitely pivoted of trying to make the pivot away from hanging out with all the la store comedy yeah the the, the, the comedy store dudes which, you know, she's she's got her reason to do so. I'm sure she's probably have her reasons that she's going to explain or not explain. But it's interesting to see that pivot away from the lads and trying to be one of the Hollywood elites. Because what we know so far is that for sure, you know, they're going to if, if they're not if, if they're not going to come after her, she's definitely going to have to be. She's definitely going to have her feet put to the fire in some cases, right? There's no way that you can align yourself with these people, align yourself with these people and feel as if it's just going to stop at the allegation with somebody you might be associated with. They're definitely going to either quiz you on the amount of French, the friendship that you had, why you stayed silent for so long. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to be brought up and essentially there's no way that you can kind of squirm away from it. But there has been a really remarkable change in Whitney Cummins' output on social media. I feel like every other post is some kind of version of showing skin like i'm just on her instagram here now showing on the screen there's obviously a couple posts here with some skin shots her in the field there different change in color hair colors and bath stuff 
some salacious things here and there either she's going through a midlife crisis or this is just her eventual evolution away from that crew but it does feel a world away from the Whitney Cummings we knew that used to kind of appear on Joe Rogan go on T5K a lot and kind of bust jokes and have some fun you know even this picture here this is a very kind of un Whitney Cummings picture to see um but for sure this is definitely a decision that she's made purposely to kind of maybe make pull some distance between herself and all the other dudes oh Get out of here. There we go. Could get out of there. Sorry about that. Phone call in the middle of a swing. But yeah, there's definitely a shift here. You can definitely see a shift that's occurring. And I guess if you're Brian, you definitely have to um, come to the conclusion that it's over for that friendship. That's definitely done. Um, but maybe it's also an indication that Whitney Cummings maybe knows a lot more than she's leading on, or maybe more than she's revealed. Because for sure, most of these stories were kind of, you kind of felt as if. Maybe since the Chris D'Elia stuff is a good example, because that Brian Callan and Brenda Shub reaction when Chris was accused of stuff, which was, was just even looking back on it now, it's just it didn't make sense. But obviously, thinking back on it, they obviously were maybe given a heads up about stories coming out concerning friends of theirs in a the comedy scene, and they were trying to distance themselves in order to kind of avoid any blowback or any accusations coming their way of course in brian kellen's situation it never it didn't really help if anything it kind of exasperated um some of those um allegations but maybe in whitney cummins's position she heard something in the grapevine and was told by the higher up because you know, she's always been regarded as somebody she's always been regarded as a bit of a talent in hollywood as a writer as a director as a showrunner she kind of gets a lot of props in that regard working behind the scenes i'm sure people have a lot of money invested in her for up and coming projects that are very kind of um cautious or kind of nervous about what would happen what the backlash would be and be like hey you need to get in front of this you need to distance yourself from these dudes and let it be known that you don't stand for this you don't agree with what they did blah 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 so that you can have a career once the stuff is over i'm pretty sure something that happened because it just doesn't make any sense why somebody that was so cool with their banter so um happy to kind of talk about an odd i remember one video she had of like speaking to brian and said something like oh yeah i remember once when i was taking you home and suddenly when i got into a car your dick was out and stuff like it's just do you know what I mean like she was okay to make those kind of jokes and kind of banter with them or maybe she wasn't at the time maybe it was just her kind of trying to cope with it but it's really odd to see that person then suddenly transform into this person we're seeing now who's kind of purposely throwing all her friends on the bus not saying anything publicly or say, or maybe going out of a way not to say anything encouragingly uh good about her former friends but hey it's a Hollywood game isn't it? it is what it is and then I've got here yeah do you think it, and this is actually the, the clip of it actually them talking about it and thinking back like was did she was she always uncomfortable with this or did she find this funny at the time i don't really know but it's very odd to think this person is suddenly the person now that's got olivia munn on the podcast basically throwing dirt on her and friends names my car and I was like, this, is sure. <laughs> this is it uh, where is it uh. <laughs> Ah, oh, God. There you go. Start again. There you go. And you're like, can I get a ride in my car? And I was like, sure. <laughs> and you got in the car, and I literally, like, turned the wheel, like, to, like, look where I was going, and I turned around, and your dick was out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The old peekaboo <laughs> dick. Call the old peekaboo But it was so weird. No news. Because it no. Was, was it like, hard? Was or just like, By the way, how much better was this show back then? Like, what a dramatic fall from grace, man. I'm not sure whether it was... Brendan's ego post um, Showtime special, whether it was Brian Callen tapping out and becoming a little bit disgruntled, whether it was just their chemistry wasn't where it needed to be because they just kind of, you know, got tired of each other. I don't know, but this show was so much funnier back then. We had Evan the Beard as the producer. Um, MJ, not MJ, what's her name again? Oh, I forgot her name. Was it MJ? Yeah, the girl that they had as a girl doing all the social media. It just was a bit more of a i don't know a fun time a bit more of a, a fun time i sound like um uh what's his name that basketball player fun guy but yeah it was so much better back then man it's just com gone to complete crap i don't know why oh it was not hard which now that i look back i'm super insulted you were, you were impressed with my piece though i think that, no you have an impressive what piece. did you say were you like hey man no i think i screamed and then just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah and then i, I laughed i don't remember that i do remember that they Definitely of course you definitely don't remember of course he doesn't yeah. remember we, did kind of we made out one time but in like yeah. a laughing way yes like i couldn't like your but, move but i definitely is... show i probably i've definitely I seen went. your piece yeah. Wait. so 
what, what do you reckon? Was she uncomfortable with this back then? Or is this just like a sudden pivot? Or she just got, I don't know, she just moved on from that kind of comedy. It's just very strange to see that from a kind of a fan's point of view from the outside looking in. Um, but in general, man, would you like, I don't know, maybe as a, as a, if you're married and you have kids at home anyway, let's just take this, let's, no, this is not even the SJW point, but isn't it a bit unbecoming? Isn't it a bit crude to be talking about such things? Um, in public in front of the camera with somebody that you might have been romantically involved in back in the day whilst you've got a wife and child at home wouldn't you be a bit aggravated if that wouldn't you be pissed off if you were the wife and you saw your husband doing that even in a joking manner it's not the best thing to do is it so maybe as a consequence of this whirlwind of allegations it's a way to kind of get those dudes to become gentlemen or some way shape or form or to at least have some kind of level of decorum where they kind of avoid mentioning names and talk about these sort of stories because i don't know i've always found it strange anyway looking at it from the outside not even being approved just being like hey don't you guys have a wife and kids at home and you're putting out all your business this is wild but again maybe that's just the lifestyle to live and if you're a comedian you kind of have to be a little bit cuckoo in the head to do that job anyway to get on stage continuously you know bomb for five years and then suddenly get good and try and carve a career out of yourself in front of audiences it's, you know it, it requires a bit of an unhinged mental um mental person right i'd imagine so so ugh, i don't know and then last year da, 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 I was going, that's about it. It's the end of that one but yeah i guess for sure a delivery man tweet was an indication that it's probably over for brian callan i think he's probably aware of that anyway but if there's an indication that hollywood has definitely kind of closed the door on him it's definitely that but i'll be interested to see if the allegations do get proven to be false what will happen to what will those doors reopen will those people individuals kind of reassess and kind of go back and double down in their positions or will they sort of offer an explanation or an apology i don't know but it's interesting to see that as a fan